All right, so today I have a two in one for you guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I got this color in less than three minutes and how I did this install. So make sure you guys tune in for both and the shop talk. What is going on YouTube? It's your girl Easy Breezy and I'm back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much Ronnie for sending me this really pretty blonde lace front unit with these brown roots. Modeling today we have our girl Patty F. And Mayo back in the building. All right, so what we're doing before we install this wig is doing a dip dye color. We're taking this wig from this really pretty ash blonde, which honestly is so cute. I mean, y'all can leave the wig just like this at home, <laughs> but I wanted to do a splash of color. So I'm using some sunrise orange from Adore. Now, as you already know, dip dye color doesn't take any time at all. All you need is a bowl of warm to hot water so it can absorb in the hair follicles a lot quicker. Put the whole bottle of color in the bowl and dip the wig. Now, you do have to be careful getting color on the lace because if you stain the lace, you will have a whole nother problem. So I tried to avoid it and it's a lot easier to do that with these roots. All right, so we are done dyeing the wig. Now it's in the dryer, and now I'm getting ready to do this install. So of course, I'm taking my cotton round of sea breeze and cleansing off the application area. Now, Patty has a lot of baby hair, so I'm gonna have to be careful when it comes to applying this stocking cap because I don't wanna get her hair all intertwined with the glue in the cap because that might not be a good situation when she's trying to take it off. Now, if you or your client tend to have really like long baby hair that come onto the face, only in rare situations are you gonna have to take a razor to it. That's only like in extreme situations, like when your baby hair actually touches your eyebrow. But even then, like there's always ways to go around that. But most of the time, all you have to do is brush them back, hit it with some strong hairspray and Hit it with the dryer for about five seconds and it holds the hair back really good. All right, so our medium brown cap is on and nice and secure. Now I'm gonna take my liquid lace glue, do our first of two coats, spread that with my tweezers and wait for that to turn clear. All right, y'all, so as I'm doing this install, sit back, relax, enjoy the tutorial, and let's get into this shop talk. Now, this is shop talk. Whatever happens in the shop stays in the shop. All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about some of the mistakes I feel like I made when dating. Now, dating is all good, you know, you feel free, you feel liberated, you feel like you have options, but when you date the wrong way, you can accidentally like become a hoe. Now, I don't wanna say hoe. <laughs> So I'm just gonna call it O's, right? And I don't wanna offend no one, you know, so I'm not talking about anyone watching this video. I'm talking about somebody else out there in the world. There are intentional O's that have sex for money and there are accidental O's that just find themselves falling in love over and over and over and over looking for love in all the wrong places and all of a sudden your body count is going in a direction you don't want it to go. So in this video, I'm not talking about intentional O's because, you know, that's just a premeditated like mission. <laughs> but I'm talking about the accidental O's that really look for love in all the wrong places and find themselves in these undesirable dating patterns over and over again. 
Now, disclaimer, I'm really being funny when I say that, like O's or whatever. Just because a woman is learning, you know, how to date, learning what kind of guys is good for her, learning about her sex life and just learning about herself, you're never a O. You're never even an accidental O. That's just for laughs. Anyways. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna give you some dating advice how to never slip into even feeling like an accidental O. Now, first and foremost, before you even go out dating or looking for love, you need to make sure that you can take care of yourself. Now, I'm not saying, oh, be a feminist or be an independent woman, hard body, but I am saying that if you've never at least lived by yourself before, you know, how would you know how someone else is supposed to take care of you if you've never done it for yourself? Also, if you know how to take care of yourself, it makes you naturally less desperate for a man to take care of you. And doing that helps you stay clear headed and it helps you use your discernment so you won't just go for anything or allow anything. You'll actually have standards for a man and that is how you treat yourself. So let's say, for example, you have your own place, you have your own car, and you know how to cook, right? That is the basic essentials for how you take care of yourself. You're going to be less accepting of a man who doesn't have his own place, doesn't have his own car, and for example, doesn't know how to fix anything, <laughs> you know? You're going to need a man to add to you, not to leech off you. So yes, once again, ladies, learn how to take care of yourself, learn how to be self-sufficient so that you're even aware of how a man is supposed to take care of you. All right, now number two is perfectly in line with number one. It goes along with knowing what you want and being clear on that. So after you already know how to take care of yourself, you write down a list of five non-negotiables in a guy that you would date. Let's say these five things are he has to have his own place, he has to have his own car, he has to have steady income flow, he has to maybe have a healthy relationship with his parents and his family, and last but not least, he has emotional intelligence and doesn't argue. <laughs> so these are five non-negotiables that you can write down and always have it clear in your mind that that's the type of man you want, so you're more clear on that when you're dating. Now, if you don't have these five non-negotiables written down on a piece of paper or at least mentally written down, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to fall for a guy for superficial values like his looks. Or you might get charmed by his words or his swag or his personality. So in order for you not to fall in that trap, you have to know exactly what you need a man to have in order for you to date him. All right, number three is, girl, be patient, okay? Keep your legs closed all the way until you know for sure that this man deserves it. Now, there are different time spans that people talk about, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days or whatever, but it's not really determined on a specific amount of time. It's just really what you feel. And if you are confused about this guy or you're not sure about him or he has red flags or he only meets three of the five, you know, non-negotiables on your list, then you really should take more time to get to know him. Or, I mean, better yet, the non-negotiables are not called non-negotiables for no reason. <laughs> so if he doesn't have all five, maybe you shouldn't date him at all. But the reason why you have to give it time to get to know these guys is because you have to really get to know him and see if he is the type of guy that you want to cater to and a guy that you want to be committed to or submit to. You know, you want to know what he does for a living, how he gets his money, what's his relationship like with his family and his parents. Is he just a victim all the time or is he mature and takes responsibility for his life? And you got to remember, you know, y'all just met, you know, you just came up in this thing. He had a whole life before y'all met. So you really have to know what is his dating history like? Does he have kids running around the United States? <laughs> you know, you really have to know if, is there any like lingering females around his life hovering around him? You know, you're only going to find that stuff out if you're around him for a few weeks. 
And listen, do not ever think that a few weeks is too long or you're making him wait too long. If he really wants you, girl, he's gonna wait. And in most cases, you're gonna need that time to truly vet the man because if you don't take that time, he can still swindle you with this idea of himself that he's selling to you. You know, after a certain amount of time of being around someone, they can't hide who they really are. <laughs> like their true colors are gonna start to come out at some point. So you kind of have to wait for that time to come before you, you know, give a guy your sacred goodies you know all right last but not least number four when you're dating a guy and things are going good so far you know it's only been about two weeks but everything is going smooth some women like to show their value by you know inviting the guy over to her house maybe cooking for him you know setting up that nice warm environment just so he can you know feel her on a different level but what i'm telling you ladies is <laughs> You know, you may be looking at it like, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, just do something light and friendly, like cook him dinner or something light like that. But when you invite a guy to your home, you know, your sacred space, it's very intimate, more intimate than you realize. And in your mind, you're doing something innocent and friendly. But in his mind, he's like, motherfucker, I just hit the jackpot. So listen, for all my beautiful ladies that like to show a guy a little taste of, you know, what's it like dating you? Cause you know, they gonna love it there. <laughs> just remember that if you invite a guy to your house, just do it later on. Don't do it within the first month because you may be sending mixed signals that you don't even mean to do. So listen, I know you are beautiful. I know you're friendly. I know you want to give people a chance and you're open-minded when it comes to love, but you really do have to set real boundaries <laughs> and you have to make a list of five non-negotiables that you will not fold on when it comes to who you date. All right, ladies, that was my little dating advice for you guys. How to not slip into being an accidental O. <laughs> All right, so I pinned the curls up so they can cool off and set correctly. Now I'm taking these out. Y'all, I can already tell this hairstyle is gonna be bah! <laughs> okay, like I have no doubt in my mind. And this hair is soft, it's not tangling at all. The color did so well, and y'all, I'm excited. galaxy girls if you want to lay your edges like this and have them last for two whole weeks get your bottle of a liquid lace gel off galaxygirlhair.com along with your other products like your liquid lace glue your stocking caps and your lace tint foam so this is the final result and it looks amazing i love it killed that okay every time if you guys want this exact unit i'm going to put all the information in the description below once again thank you so much ronnie for sponsoring this wig y'all this is definitely a buy for the summertime also text galaxy girl to 31996 to receive special discount codes for galaxygirlhair.com and exclusive updates see y'all later